Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name's Michael and I'm bitten by a radioactive book. Today is Thursday and that means female fantasy author feature on my channel and today we're talking about C.S. Friedman. C.S. Friedman is an American writer and she has three completed series out there and um, another one that she started with I think last year and uh, that might be concluded because it's a duology um, this year. So let's get into her works. First off we have In Conquest Born which is the first installment of a series with the same title. It's a science fiction series and it focuses on the conflict between the Braxi and the Azia. Both are races that came out of uh, humanity and the Braxi are a more like aggressive warrior kind of people and the Azia are more like genetic scientists that strive for like the ideal role, uh, uh, human being. And um, this conflict is kind of personalized in this book um, to happen between two generals of the Braxi and the Azia. They are called Zata and Anza. And yeah, their kind of personal vendetta is like the focus of the book. This is a duology and it was the first work of um, C.S. Friedman which was like published around the late 80s, I think 1988 or something like that. Uh, so uh, uh, as you can see she seems to be an author who does uh, or sh who spreads out her work over uh, the years. If you look at uh, she having like three completed series and she's writing like the uh, like uh, from the 80s then you can see she takes her time uh, and that is shown when you get into her books. Next up we have Black Sun Rising. It's the first in the Cold Fire trilogy. This is a very interesting trilogy because it is like a dark fantasy but um, with the science fiction touch uh, in it because we are uh, actually on a world which was um, colonized by humans in a starship and the, uh, but the technology uh, and where the humans came from is kind of, or th this information, is kind of lost to the society there. Uh, but the technology level might be a bit on, on a steampunk side or at least it's not a, a traditional uh, fantasy medieval setting. It's uh, They have kind of uh, technology um, around. Um, but still uh, the setting is very firmly and familiar fantasy. There's also some, some kind of magic that seems to come from uh, yeah, like the planet itself uh, um, or originates there and um, this book is a lot about what I willing to sacrifice uh, to get uh, to your uh, to your goals. We have like uh, we have like four very different protagonists and um, yeah uh, they uh, for various reasons, they go on a quest together. Uh, not every one of them is like on the same page. Um, and it's very interesting to see that they have very different ideals, uh, how they want to solve like the conflict. I'm not going into uh, 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 details there because I don't want to spoil um, anything. So I stay on that like more uh, wake kind of level in explaining the, uh, the story. Um, but it's very interesting to see actually what every one of them is uh, yeah, capable of, of sacrificing uh, personally. Um, and I've, I've read this book. This is actually the only uh, C.S. Friedman book I've, um, I've read so far and I was uh, very impressed and um, yeah, uh, I'm really looking forward to see what the uh, or how the series continues because the book has I think a satisfying ending so uh, you can read it as a standalone if you want to there's no like cliffhanger um, but there is potential to um, yeah 
uh, to go on. Next up we have Feast of Souls, the first in the Magister trilogy. Um, here the um, concept we encountered in Cold Fire uh, returns because um, the element of sacrifice for something is incorporated in the magic system here. I think it can go up to sacrificing yourself, your life for spells or something like that. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but it sounds like that. So that is, uh, is very interesting. And uh, clearly, again, uh, although the book has uh, like elements of um, ancient enemies, ancient wars, so very typical fantasy elements, um, the, the focus is again the darkness that lies within uh, the human soul or the human heart if you want to, so um, uh, definitely a very personal and very dark kind of um, uh, kind of book. And overall, uh, these are themes uh, C.S. Friedman um, works with a lot, so that's why I kind of used her works as a follow-up to Anne Bishop, so we have a bit of a more dark fantasy focus here at the moment. And last but not least, we have Dreamwalker, the first book in the Dreamwalker duology, I think. The first book is already out, the second is expected to arrive in 2015. Um, and this is kind of a departure from C.S. Friedman's normal, uh, more like dark fantasy secondary world tellings, because it plays in our world. Uh, and it has a, a touch of YA in it, it has a touch of um, like uh, urban fantasy in it, but still it seems to have like this this dark fantasy themed um, yeah uh, focus because um, uh, the main protagonist is Jessica and Jessica um, dreams about different worlds and this dreams seem to be very vivid and she only shares this kind of dreams with her brother um, Tommy and um, then in a fire Tommy uh, gets kind of kidnapped seems strange in a fire kidnapped um, and now Jessica finds some clues on Tommy's computer and she and her friends um, try to find Tommy and get them back from the kidnappers and there she gets more and more involved with the legends of Earth and how her dream weaving is connected uh, to um, yeah to the abduction of of her brother. This seems to be a very interesting kind of concept, and yeah, I would definitely like to see um, her spin on this kind of narrative. So, that's it for this week. Next week's edition will be about Sherwood Smith. Um, I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please uh, hit the like button. If you want to see more of me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what's coming up on my channel, look inside the description box. There's a little segment there called On the Horizon. I wish you a good day and hope you get bitten by a really good book too. Bye!